Introduction to IT is to provide knowledge and practice about basic and current knowledge of information technology to students. This includes topics, computer concepts, internet, basic applications, and digital academic tools. Visualization technology and societies. We have 10 modules of this course. And the first two weeks is to prepare you to get into the course. In week one, you will see orientation. In this week, we're going to introduce you how to learn this course. And week two, module zero, you're going to learn about basic concepts of computer and internet. And then we're going on to the, the, the module. From module one, Google Docs for planning. Module two in week four. Google Forms for data collection and week 5, module 3. Google Cheat for data uh, analysis and visualization and module 4 in week 6. Google Slides for data presentation and then go on to week 7, module 5, academic tools. In week 8, you will have midterm exam <clears throat> and then you uh, in the week 9, you're going to have a break. Week 10. Module 6, Cashless Society and QR Code. Week 11, Module 7, Interactive Media about AR and VR technologies. Week 12, Module 8, you will learn Netiquette. It's about how, can, how will you behave using internet and other technologies. And week uh, 13, Module 9, you're going to learn basic programming. <coughs> and week 14, the last model is module 10. <coughs> it's about disrupt technologies. You will have to have to do the final examination in week 15, right? And then you're going to finish the course. Oh, this uh, course is going to provi provide you a system which uh, contains Exercise and practice work are provided for each module in the learning system. Content is composed of links to both learning materials and demonstration videos. Students are supposed to learn from content, then do individual assignments and do the practice work. Number of exercise questions are provided for each module. Students can do and check the answer by yourself. Assignments are not counted for score, but practice work are counted. Our module is open for practice work submission for two weeks. A practice work can be individual or group. Group will be assigned and continue for the entire semester. If it is group work, then only one member submit the work is enough. Uh, on the first week, we're going to show you the URL to the system. And you need to use the system. You can access it to content, exercise, and practice work. The system can be accessed from campus and also outside the campus. You can learn from uh, your dormitory home, hotel, or anywhere with the internet connection. A module content will be open according to lesson plan. Practice work submission of a module will be open for two weeks. You can access to the system from anywhere with internet connection. You are supposed to learn and perform the practice work during your class schedule. However, you may manage to suit your own availability Therefore, you may not be required to ask for a leave if you're not available on your class schedule. However, if you have to travel somewhere without internet connection and longer than two weeks, you have to send an email to ask for permission from the teacher. And then you will be allowed to late submit the work. Here. I'm going to talk about examination, okay? Midterm and final examinations are conducted through computer-based system. Every student 
is required to sign on attendance sheets, to enter to their examination rooms, which are not, which are your classroom. Examination is not accessible from outside classroom. You cannot access from your dormitory or home or hotel. Date and time for examination are fixed. Students are not supposed to miss any exam. However, if you really have an important and urgent work, like you are suddenly sick and need to see doctor, you need to uh, notify to your your teacher beforehand, and you have to show the evidence as well. Here is about examination schedule. This is fixed. The examination is starts from midterm examination. It's going to start in week 8 from 15 October to 19 October. Then the final exam is going to be conducted on the 15th week. Start from 3rd December to 7th December. Okay, this one is about how do you behave in the examination. Okay, the examination is closed book. You're not supposed to open any other applications or books. And there are 60 multiple choice questions in an hour. Students have to show your uh, ID card in order to enter to the examination room. Hey, professor. Hey. Are you alone teaching this course? Of course, of course, no. We teach you in a group. So in this course, we have four instructors in total. Also, we have six TAs. The first instructor is Ajahn Nikon, you can see here. Second, Ajahn Jaren Chai. The third, Ajahn Sandy Chai. And also, we have Ajahn Kanyakon. For the TAs, we have about six TAs in this course. First, P Chai, P R, P Mik, P C, P N, and P Ped. I would like to know about scores and grades. Yeah. So in this course, I would uh, answer you in two questions. So we have a course assessment, which have a uh, 100 score in total. These scores are from the prerequisite 10, 10 scores. You just simply earn these 10 points by finishing this module in the first two weeks. After that, you have to finish the next assessment, we would evaluate your assignments. You will have 50 marks for this part. So you can earn five points from each topic. So in total, you will can get the 50 scores. The next one is about the midterm exam, which would you may love a lot. This will worth you 20 scores. And the last one, final exam, also 20 scores. So in total, we have 100 scores of this course. For the grading system, you may wonder well, which grade you are going to get in this course. So if you want to get A, you have to earn 80 score up to 100. You may get B plus if your score is between 75 and 79. B from 70 to 74. C plus from 65 to 69. C from 60 to 64, D plus from 55 to 59, D, 50 to 54. And the last case, which you may not want to get, is F. You can get F if your score is between 0 to 49. Hi, Professor. Hi! I would like to know how can you get high score in this course? Of course, you can. In this course, we have a total of 100 score. So the first 10 score is from the prerequisite module, so which you can finish it in the first two weeks. After that, you will go through several modules. You will have to submit the practice works. Each work worth you five score, so you ha have to submit 10 works in total to get these uh, 50 scores. Also, we have the 20 scores from the midterm exam and 20 score from the final exam. And now I want to know if I want to have an A, what should I do? Okay, if you want to get A from this course, the minimum score that you would have to earn is 80. For the B+, the minimum score is 
75. B, the minimum score is 70. C plus, the minimum score is 65. C, 60. D plus, 55. D, 50. And if you, your score is less than 40, 50, you get F.